We are now in the Tesla Model 3 uh, dual motor performance and finally I will do the high speed test. Yes, many of you guys have been asking me, almost complaining, like, why do you drive so slow? Why do you drive so slow? Well, that is the test procedure to simulate a mix of city driving and highway driving. But now we'll do the highway run. I will drive at 120 kilometers per hour like I usually do in Norway. I have two type of tests. So this will be the high speed ish test. So it's, uh, what's the time now? It's 11 minutes, but it's 13 minutes past 10. So hopefully we don't have too much traffic. So I have to drive on LA roads here. So um, yeah, uh, the plan is to drive, cruise around 120 kilometers per hour. And I'm gonna show you now where we'll go. So we are here in Hawthorne and the plan is to drive north on the 405 and then turn back and go back to the starting point. Uh, it will be, well, it's 42, so it'll be like, about 85 kilometers, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I will try to cruise at 120 kilometers per hour. There could be some traffic preventing me from going that fast, but at least this road is a, a 55 mile per hour. Wait, 65 miles per hour, I think, most of it, and most of the traffic flows at 120 or faster anyway. So yes, let's just get going, shall we? Uh, by the way, I think I will just use automatic. Yeah, 21 degrees Celsius. And I will reset the trip meter and then off we go. Oh yes, we are on the move. So uh, trying to cruise at 120. I see that from time to time it will drop to 115. So the, the roads over here is very busy. There's lots of cars in America. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, just keep going. All right, we just turned back. We've been driving for 26 minutes and. Uh, the consumption is somewhat high, but it could be because of wind and elevation. So it was 225 when I turned around. Oh, sorry for the bump. Oh, the road in the US is so bumpy, but it's going down fast now. So, well, that's looking good because uh, according to my theory, it should be way less than 200. So it's uh, 11 degrees Celsius outside and dry weather. So the driving conditions, driving conditions will be pretty good today. Wow, there's one thing I noticed with uh, Americans is that they really don't have lane discipline, unlike in uh, Germany and the rest of Europe. Yeah, the lane discipline here is like non-existing. <laughs> Again, 197 and dropping. So it seems like we probably had headwind. Uh, probably gained some elevation on the way up, but now on the way down, the consumption drops. So the question is, how much will it drop? Ah, shit. Roads are so bumpy. Ugh, ugh. I don't need massage in the chairs. I have built-in massage from the road. Oh, smoother roll. Oh, yeah, finally. Now, oh, yes, we are back at the starting point. So, actually, I took a little loop down, also down south, and then went back up again. So, this test was pretty long. It was 104.8 kilometers. And we drove exactly one hour. And uh, you see the consumption is 187 watt per kilometer. Yes. So, that is, you know, pretty good for... Um, for a car like this, this size car, so it's better than Kona. When I tested Kona, that was at like 25 degrees Celsius, actually 25, 28. So Kona had 190 watt per kilometer, and um, uh, e Niro had uh, what well, that was in Korea, that was also in evening, so I think it was around 15 degrees Celsius. Here it's 12 degrees Celsius, colder. So if we did this run uh, in 25 degrees Celsius, uh, the result would be better and lower consumption, but keep in mind that we had some traffic, so I was not able to average, let's say, 110, 115, it was 105, well, it was very close enough. Uh, and also, remember, this is the performance version, yes, with the 20-inch wheels, less efficient ones, so um, we should try this again with uh, with a non-performance and 20-inch closed wheel, because I know that, you know, these uh, these open wheels they're not the best for efficiency whereas the close one that you have on the, on the 18 inch should be more efficient maybe we'll get it down to like 180 175 yeah 
So, uh, okay, pretty cool. Um, I think that's it for the efficiency test. So finally, you guys get the, the result you're looking for, the highway speed test. Oh, by the way, maybe I should like estimate what is the range based on these numbers. Let's do some uh, crazy math here. Uh, so based on earlier results, I have measured this car to have about 73 or 30, let's let's assume 72 kilowatt hours then, all right? And then let's say that, okay, for this performance car, uh, 187, okay, and there you go, 385 kilometers of range if you drive it down to zero, yeah, if you have balls with that, but I would say about 350 then on proper highway speed. That is one of the best you can ever get in like. Yeah, because I should also point out that, all right, if you try this same test with, uh, let's say a Model X, even a P100D uh, or whatever, a Model X is so thirsty, so I'm not sure if you can drive 350 kilometers. Maybe the Model S P100D, or let's say the Model S 100D, then the 100 pack, yeah, has more energy, but it's also less efficient. So, um, and what about Kona, e Nero? No, they can probably go around 250 at those speeds, 250 kilometers. And uh, okay, you have uh, Ionic. Yeah, I know there was, there was always be some smart ass with Ionic. Well, ah, uh, yeah, my Ionic is more efficient. Well, actually, is it really? We have to do a head on that head test as soon as we, we get um, Model 3 in Europe. We're gonna do a a proper test then, but um, the Ionic, if you drive it at 120 kilometers per hour like I do, you will probably get about 150 kilometers in a single charge. Yeah, not 350. So this car I'm sitting in right now seems to be one of the best cars for long trips if you have supercharger support. So yeah, I think that will be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.